Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be going over the Mazda RX-8. I just want to do a kind of summary of what's all been done to the car, all the modifications, everything done to it. And then also just going to be pulling it outside because it's a beautiful day out and it is going to dyno tune uh, about a week from now. So next Monday and yeah. I just want to get a few heat cycles on it, maybe do some lot driving, just make sure I have no leaks, nothing that could be a problem on the dyno, and then we should be ready to rock and roll, hopefully within the next week. overview of the car. We have a 5.7 LS1 aluminum block, not bored over or anything like that. It has Summit dome pistons, H-beam rods, forged bottom end to side stock crank, obviously running F-body accessories off the stock GTO, which was a 04 parts car that I got. LS1 RX-8 swap kit. So just the mounts for the transmission and the engine all down underneath there. I have ceramic boots wrapped with titanium or whatever this non-fiery stuff is. An eBay expansion tank, overflow, Mishimoto radiator, obviously a Holly high rise. We have a BTR cam, stage four, nice lumpy. And then we have 42 pound injectors from a LS7. Obviously, Holly rails, we have Holly fuel regulator running at stock PSI. Chase bays for a deleted ABS unit, and then obviously running the stock GTO reservoir for the clutch, and then a Tilton Master stock sleeve cylinder. And then upgraded the power steering pump lately. What else, what else? Underdrive pulley to slow down the power steering pump because blew that out on the first drift day. <laughs> then obviously drilled and slotted rotors front and rear, just stock brakes, Cosme's XT206Rs in the front and rear. It has, I think they're, they're 18s all around, but it is a staggered setup. So up front running 235-40 18s. And what else, what else? Wise fab, front and rear, drought knuckles. Oh yeah, get that shot, get that shot. Yeah. Then, BC BR coilovers, best of the cheap. <laughs> then we have, interior wise, I did ugh, full roll cage by myself. Look at that messy wiring, we don't have to worry about that yet. <laughs> Um, obviously Haltech IQ3, it's running on a Holly ECU standalone. Then we have a DND Hydro, Sparco, Quick Release, 
all that good stuff. FD comp cage. We have a. We can open the trunk actually. Go in the trunk. Oh wait, wait, wait. One of my favorite features right here. The halved dash. Now that fancy dancy. Now, obviously, nice two hundred dollar FRP spoiler that's already cracked, which is fine. Wide body is also ragged pretty bad already. In the rear, lots of wiring to clean up. We have a Optima battery with a metal nice aftermarket mount so it's nice and solid. Then, obviously just a mess of wires because I was in the hassle to get my brake lights so I could pass tech for uh, the first event I drove it in. Dual caliper set up in the rear. Look at that, look at that. Spicy, one is red, one is rust. Yeah, it's very nice. And we have some nice side skirts that are pretty much falling off the car. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. Is there anything I'm missing? Oh yeah, it's not Ooh, he got a selfie of me in there. <laughs> then we are running a sicky GTO shifter to use the OEM shift location in the trans tunnel. T56 bolts up just fine. Let's not sparkle back prisma don't know if it's real or not but it looks pretty real otherwise that's pretty much it. if you have any more questions or anything about the build don't don't hesitate to dm me on instagram facebook youtube comments whatever i'll help you guys out it's a pretty basic build but hopefully when it gets dyno It'll make some good horsepower. And yeah, any questions, just hit me up. I'm gonna take some beauty shots and then that's all we really have. Mm-hmm.